Hi, this is Pastor Mike Sigmund at Grace Community Church of Willow Street. It's so good to see you again, to be with you again, to be able to share with you a few updates from our church and, and also about the mission that God is giving us in the midst of COVID-19. Uh, the first thing, though, that I want to share with you is a, is a personal uh, word of praise and, and gratitude, and that is that on Sunday afternoon, beautiful Palm Sunday afternoon, uh, we became grandparents again, and our daughter Katie and her husband Brent gave birth to our granddaughter, Macy Kate Hostetter. And uh, she is, is home from the hospital with mom and dad and doing very well and, uh, and being smothered with love by her big brothers, Cam and Gray. So I just wanted to share that with you. It's a great joy in our family. And so many of you at Grace Community Church have been praying for Katie and for Brent, especially during this unique season of, uh, of time in, in, our, in our lives together. Also, just uh, before I start talking about some of the things that Grace Community Church should, should mention to you, that one of the things that we've been doing, Jenny and I, that is, uh, is we've been cleaning out the basement. Now, if you've been at Grace Community Church any length of time, you know that the basement is this fabled place in our house that is filled with all kinds of history that's related to the Sigmund family, but even beyond that, to our community. And I've found all kinds of gems in the cleaning out process, and so much so that we've decided to do a virtual basement tour. That will satisfy all of you who have wanted to see the basement for a long time. And that's coming, and uh, just keep your eyes and ears open. You'll hear more about that. We'll have a fun evening together as we explore the basement at the Sigmund home. Now, enough about that. I really want to talk to you about this week and what is coming up this weekend. You know it's Holy Week, and we're making our journey to the observance of Jesus' death on the cross and then the celebration of his resurrection. So here at Grace Community Church, we have a number of services that we want to invite you to, and these are services that will be online at GCC Anywhere, same formats that we have been using the past number of weeks, and the services begin with one Good Friday service at 7 p.m. One Good Friday service, 7 p.m. We will observe communion in that service, so that means that you should have your bread and drink ready at home, and at the appropriate time in the service, I will come uh, and, and lead you in the observance of communion. It's gonna be a wonderful service together, wonderful service as we remember the wonderful cross, as we sing the hymns and some of the newer music that brings us to the cross and reminds us of Jesus' sacrificial death for us in our place on the cross. And as Pastor Addison then comes and preaches from the Word of God and reminds us of the events that took place at the cross and as a result of the cross. So I encourage you to worship with us on Good Friday at 7 p.m. Then our Easter resurrection celebrations. They begin on Saturday night at 6 p.m. and then again Sunday morning, 7.45 a.m., 9.15, and 11 o'clock. Now notice that our first service on Sunday begins 15 minutes earlier than normal, 7.45. The reason for that is there's a bit more music in our Easter service and we want to have the appropriate time for that service and then of course the turnaround online before we begin our 915 service. So we invite you to come to an Easter celebration to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ, Saturday at 6, Sunday 745, 915 or 11. I'm looking forward to preaching from John chapter 20 verses 1 through 18. There will be glorious, wonderful celebratory music. We'll be able to sing together wherever you are, you just join in and we will sing together as we celebrate the truth that he is risen. Now another interesting thing is that we have prelude music available both Good Friday and for the Easter celebration. So tune in 15 minutes early and you'll hear beautiful prelude music that will help us observe and meditate on the cross on Good Friday and then prepare our hearts to celebrate the resurrection on Easter. Um, one of the prelude numbers in fact will be uh, on, on Easter will be the Byler family and some bluegrass Easter hymns and I think you'll enjoy those and that will just kind of get you ready to celebrate his resurrection. Now, for the kids, we will have our Sunday Sunday school at 1 p.m., but there's something special that we're making available to our families this year, and that is if you go to the kids page at gccws.net, you'll find a new resource called Easter Jam, and it's actually a family Easter activity resource, and you can have your own family Easter event at home, preparing your kids 
uh, helping them to understand Jesus' death and resurrection, but then preparing them to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we really hope that you'll come online, GCC Anywhere, and celebrate with us observing Jesus' death and, and then celebrating his resurrection. Invite others, share the link, and we will have a wonderful weekend together in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, there is just one other thing that I wanted to share with you, too, as we, as we approach Easter, but then also as we come out of Easter, because there is life after Easter. In fact, that life is new life in Christ, and we want to continue to share that life with others. We're going to make available to you a resource, and in fact, I, there will be a link in the, um, in the email that we're sending you here, or also in uh, the Facebook page introduction of, of this video, a link that will take you to something called the Art of Neighboring. The Art of Neighboring is, uh, is actually a toolkit that has been produced by our friends um, at the Art of Neighboring Ministry, and it is a great resource to help every one of us to reach out and to share the hope and the joy and the love of Jesus Christ with our neighbors. You know, the greatest commandment, according to the Word of God, is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. It's my prayer and the prayer of our pastors here at Grace Community Church that you're using this time to deepen your relationship with the Lord and, and love Him more and more as you read the Word and pray and get into those good habits of, of devotional practice. But it's also our hope and our prayer that you are reaching out to your neighbors. The Art of Neighboring Toolkit will really help you and give you some ideas on how to make a meaningful connection with your neighbors and also do so in the love of Jesus Christ. So I want to encourage you to do that this week, Holy Week, but then also just continue to do that in the weeks that follow Easter. It's interesting, the other day when I was um, starting my week with devotions, I opened the scriptures to Psalm 97. I've been reading through the Psalms along with my New Testament reading this year. And I looked at Psalm 97, 630 on Monday morning, and the first three words were these, the Lord reigns, the Lord reigns. I looked at that and I thought, man, that is so true. I needed to hear that on Monday morning. We need to hear that every morning. We also need to hear it every afternoon and every evening. The Lord reigns. Let all the earth rejoice. You know what joy is? It's a deep, settled confidence that God is in control of the details of our life. When we rejoice, we are giving thanks to a God who is good, a God who truly is in control of all the details of our lives, a God who is watching over you and watching over me, watching over our families and our friends, who loves us and cares deeply for us. It's been good to spend time with you today. Grace Community Church and all the friends of Grace Community Church, I'm praying for you. God bless you.